Studio. I hope people that match my energy and you know what that means, bro. Like, I'm super excited. Like, we're going to be talking to them in a minute. But first things first, uh, let me just uh, shout out two people. All right, just two, 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 two people. All right, just, um, okay, I think we're going to do that in a few. We're going to do that in a few. Uh, all right, we'll do that in a few. <laughs> So I will just go right ahead, talk to them, and then check out the comments in a few. But for those at home, Kama umeskia yoke lele and you're wondering, like, bro, Kwani, what is happening? I have guests in studio, and I told you they are going to be here. They are not only but the coolest, most amazing Nairobi's anti-colonial punk bank. They go by the name Crystal Axe. <laughs> Always loud. You think I'm loud? How about that? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm loud. You know what, I'm, I'm, uh, what are you talking about? I know. Too much of an inside voice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Super awesome. All right, Crystal Axis, man. This is the first. I can't believe this is the first time you guys are coming to like. You know? Thank you for having us. Exactly, no, yeah. Right. This is too awesome. Long. We've waited too long. Well, here too we are. Long, but we're here, here we are. Finally, you made it. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and um, introduce you. Uh, Ahmed, I think you're... Who? Is it Ahmed or Jaya? Who's going to speak for the band? Because you know, we want we to are, know about the name. We are one for... Uh, uh, all for one, one for all. That you know. one. Yeah, that's that's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. You know what? Let's, just, let's start <laughs> here yes. to Kienda Ivo. So I'm going to start with you. Introduce yourself. First and, and foremost, mm -hmm. Christine, we're a big fan of you. Oh, we're a big fan of I'm a show. fan of Chris you Alexis. You're always what pulling through towards all the gigs and everything. Oh. Hey. Supporting the scene. <laughs> so thank you for having us. And now we're in your house. It's uh, beautiful. You know I'm saying? Thank you. All right. My name is Amy, lead singer of this amazing band right here, Crystal Axis. Take it ahead, boys. My name is Jai. Play guitars for Crystal Axis. My name is Doug. I play bass for Crystal Axis. I am done. Play the drums. 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 Go ahead and ask for the guys who've never seen Dan before. He's new to the band, so yeah. he's he came in after Ronjay, right? Yes. Yeah, All right. Did, yeah. Welcome to the band. Welcome to Crystal. Yeah. Let me just welcome you officially. Yeah. For the guys who've never seen, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already welcomed him. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Philly G, welcome. That, that, right. That's a stamp right there. All right. <laughs> having you we're gonna start from where it all started like how did you guys meet how did you come up with the name crystal axis obviously we well, have I to think, know that i think the band started way back in 2009 uh, yeah literally so unfortunately our guitarist fox is not here because he's on yeah. so i basically went to a battle of the bands in resorts with my older sister as soon as i walk in she's like so these guys are the best band in kenya but they were made of high school kids. So I was like, wait, I'm in high school. I can play <laughs> hey, guitar. Maybe even me, I can. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. You know? So yeah. literally the next day I went, um, got my younger brother and a friend. We were like, listen, man, we're starting a band. So that's how it happened. Like all the way There's back. No way. Like, like you went uh, to the battle of the bands. Yep. Got inspired. Yep. Started a band the very next day. The very next hmm. day. And then like 10 years later, the guy Anything who inspired. Possible, yeah. 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 Anything is possible. It's possible. Then literally 10 years later, the guy who inspired me to start the band ended up joining our band, which was like full circle. Yeah, it was. Awesome. Yeah. That is really, really dope. I can't even imagine that. Like, you were like the protege. Exactly, yeah. Like, you know what? Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> what's me? Okay, I see you. I see you. Yeah. That's why you're singing. I see you. That's why you're singing. Right after that, you mm -hmm. guys went on a long hiatus. What was happening during that time before you came back and like now started to make that you know, mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah. Up, up Get those papers. Society, Important. When you, when you go and tell your parents, hey, I'm oh, going to be a rock, rock star. Band, they're like, hey, I don't know. What's your name? What's your name? 
you know in so africa you, you, you gotta get in africa hey, you're, you're making <laughs> that, that devil worshiping music yeah so you know yeah ones, we, we just had to take a bit of time off you know everybody yeah. went and did their mm-hmm. studies and everything yeah um and i remember jai just hitting me up i think it was around 2017 mm. and telling me like hey uh we've been booked for this gig and i'm like no i'm like who's we <laughs> Are you that speaking was, French? Yeah. Did you go study in France? You know, I'm like, who's we? I'm like, who's we? You know, but yeah, so you know, we just got the band together. Uh, we got Doug, uh, Fox joined in, and from then on, it's uh, we've just been roller coasting upwards. Let me get this straight. Booked for a band, but for a gig, but you had not been practicing. We haven't even played a gig in five years. Yeah, basically, yeah. Like that's how we are. Thank you. They're like, I work great under pressure until that day comes, and they were like, they didn't sign up for this. Exactly. To be fair, we do work well under pressure. We do. I will lie. We actually do. Yeah. We should be diamond axes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just spitting. This is off the dome. Guys, I think we're going to have to have a meeting after this. Band meeting after this. Who are some of the guys that inspired your your, your style of music? That is Mm. punk. We don't have a lot of that in Africa. Not Africa, Kenya especially. Mm. Most bands are like metal. uh, Metal or like really soft. Mm. Not many are punk. So who are some of the influencers that got you doing that? I think aside from music, for us, punk is more of like an attitude and a mindset and yeah. like a way, like an outlook and how you look at things. Mm. So the music itself aside, we're inspired by a lot of African musicians, whether it's Lima Sekela, Mia Makeba, mm-hmm. like Fela Naina, Fela, Fela, exactly, yeah. uh, <laughs> Bobby Wine, so all these guys. Mm-hmm. So everything we've picked up from their music, we incorporate into like what we do and like the message we put out. As far as punk goes itself as a genre, I mean, growing up, there were bands like The Awakening, there was mm-hmm. Impish, um, a few, like, there was literally, like, a handful of, like, punk bands in Kenya, but I think for us, mainly, it was the the message and the ethos and, like, yeah. behind punk and what it stands for and what it means. I think, um, it's, yeah, it's generally uh, the energy because all of us listen to very different things, to be mm-hmm. honest. Mm-hmm. Like, personally, on our ones, we listen to very different things. Completely. The one right. thing that connects us is, yeah, we all grew up listening to punk rock music and everything, yeah. but when we meet up, it's the energy. You know what I mean? And we're in this new age of punk and Afro-punk and what we like to describe ourselves, which is not like, you know, there's this traditional like, oh, but you know, punk people should look like this and do like that, yeah? I know. But we just do whatever we want. But like we still bring that same energy. have tags everywhere. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I have no tattoos. Do you guys skate? <laughs> I no. used to. I used to. I used to. At some point, I like my elbows. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my knees, my knees were kneeing. The knees were not kneeing, you know? Yes. So you call it a day. But then also, Chris, what you guys are known for is speaking up, especially um, against the social injustices mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, like, especially our political setting, the way it is. Yeah. You speak against, like, corruption and stuff like that. So what do you think as a nation we stand right now? How are you feeling? Now that we just voted, do you think, like, um, the new government coming in are going to be better than the one that left? Are we where we are? Like, I just want to get your views <laughs> on that. Honestly, as a punk band, like, mm-hmm. politics was always the one thing because you know we're talking about the leaderships we're mm. talking about uh what's on the ground what's happening how mm. people institutions being treated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. institutions so uh shout out to everyone who voted mm-hmm. but we do feel like <laughs> <laughs> you know there's a lot of just mm. dumb stuff going on yeah. Yeah. but at the end of the day i guess uh for us it's more you know everyone everyone has the right to vote yeah. Everyone has the right to pick their leader. And uh, we feel that, you know, at the end of the day, that mm-hmm. democratically elected leader needs to be in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's more about that. But even more than that is what happens to the after. Uh, things going to get better. Yeah. Uh, we just voting for someone and then they're in there for five years and then yeah. they do nothing. And it's the same yeah. Yeah. When it comes to institutions, yeah. you're talking yeah. about police, judiciary, and Ex- all of that. Exactly. Yeah. And you, you speak a lot about police brutality. Mm-hmm. And I saw you guys mentioned somewhere, like, Please broke into your studio. Is that oh, true? Yeah. Like, but, um, I want to know everything. How do uh, like happens. police office? Were they on patrol? How do they get um, the studio? <coughs> what what? Is like you guys are rebels. What are you? What kind of music are you playing? They were patrolling for money. We'll tell you that. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, yeah, to, yeah. to put it to put it bluntly, what happened is that there was a young group of black men who were in a neighborhood where maybe we did not seem like we fitted in. Yeah. Therefore, the community within the neighborhood took it upon themselves to ensure that 
<laughs> we exited the community. Hey, and, um, no yeah, way. there was a. One hundred percent. Yeah. This affluent neighborhood. We they call the police on you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this Serving. affluent uh, 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 neighborhood, you know, th- there's a WhatsApp group. Uh, mm. You know, because affluent neighborhoods have WhatsApp groups. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Community watch. Community watch. Yeah. 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 And you know, exactly. it was it was the message being sent of you know the place where we were staying of of strange men coming in at strange hours and <laughs> playing loud, loud music, music. Yeah. and we're like, okay. Uh, we're not disturbing anybody. Also, there's a club and another house over there playing way louder music. Mm. You know, so yeah. It's but it's just, true. Uh, I remember there's a there's a time um, one of the biggest um, biggest advocates of rock. Let me just say that in Kenya, mm-hmm. uh, they got, they got a venue that was in Karen, and they had confirmed the mm. gig is gonna be there, yeah. everything. And then when the debt was almost like uh, approaching. And then they're like, ex- uh, okay, wait, so who are the guys that are going to be playing? Then mm-hmm, they're like, oh, mm-hmm. so we have these people, what do they play? Then they're like, rock, they're like, no, 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 yeah. no. So that, you know, it's going to be like, you know, like Saudi song yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, you said rock, I'm so sorry, we can't have you. Can you imagine, you've already, like, the flyers are the, out. Yeah. Yeah, you have set up but, it's, but it's not like any other yeah. genre is playing music like, we are playing. <laughs> yeah. That's everything. Right. Everything's, yeah, like, loud. Everyone is loud. Everything's loud. Like, whether yeah. they know Saudi or not, it would still be as loud at a concert. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's just that yeah. the genre we're doing is yeah. grouped into a particular stereotype. Stereotype. Or or yeah, it's like really evil. Evil. castigated. It is evil. Exactly. Like, a lot yeah. of people have stereotyped it as like the devil of music. Or, like, exactly. Devil yeah, thing. yeah. Yeah, I, I get a lot. Even on the show, like I have people who like DM me and they're like, Jesus loves you. I'm like, who told you? I don't oh, believe. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> like stop like you know like just because people love rock music it doesn't mean they're under christ or something like we need to you know demystify that we do, but also, yeah. yeah but you guys you've been doing a lot you guys were featured in a movie yeah, yeah i mean was, um... yes <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> we had about this. that. You guys look so good, though. Like you, the, the the artwork. Like Thank I saw you. the first one. Like, ah, oh. <laughs> it's, anyway, it's all just makeup. It's hair and makeup. It's hair and makeup. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. And so, yeah, tell us how did you even land that, and uh, how was the mm. whole experience? Where when did you film the movie? So it was actually a TV show called The Watch by the BBC. Yeah. So that was filmed in Cape Town in SA. Mm. Um, so it was like this punk rock, um, thriller, sci-fi kind of show that they were doing. So they were looking for um, punk bands of color, you know, around the continent and around the world. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's South Africa, so there's a plethora of bands that fit that bill essentially. But um, so they came across our content, what we do, what we're about. We did like a little online edition. They were like, okay, so this is the band. These are the guys we want. Oh, so, um, look at yeah. that. Yeah, so it was amazing. It was truly a sensational experience in terms of being on set, being in the studio, yeah, the yeah, people yeah. we got to work with, the experiences yeah. we, we had. Like an original song for the soundtrack of the series. Yeah, mm. which was. So we were in studio recording the song, and then the next few days we were on set, like in full makeup, like playing the band mm-hmm. in, in, in a movie. scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that. So it was a fantastic experience. Like, yes. people don't even know how much work goes into the making of that. Like, it is. It gets to the end so credits. Good. That's it, yeah. yeah. yeah that's oh, like, 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 a 15 like, yeah. second scene <laughs> yeah. takes about three to four hours. It does a lot. Really. It, it, like, yeah, it yeah. was crazy. Like, I remember that day, they were like, okay, cool, so we're going to pick you up. We're like, cool, so 8 a.m. as usual? They're like, no, 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. Be <laughs> ready. Yeah. Pick us up at 4 a.m. We go on set here and make up for like an hour, two hours. We're just chilling. And you have to wait with time in between, and then it's your time for your scene. Yeah, you said 4 a.m. I'm like, like, hey, that's my bad time. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, this is when I usually sleep. 4 a.m. That's when we're going to sleep. Yeah. Like, like, come on now, sleep. man. What are you saying? Right. Ungodly exactly. hour. <laughs> No, it's a good experience, all in all. And of course, you, you jammed in SA as well. How can you even compare that scene and Kenya while you were playing there? Uh, is, is there a way we relate to each other? The fan base, they are here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. I think 100%. Like, the thing about especially rock and metal is that the scenes are very uh, tight yeah. They're very close. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So uh, performing at a show in SA, the one thing we realize is the energy is still the same. Mm-hmm. You know, there are people mm-hmm. who show up for every single gig. Yeah. And it's the same here. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's common is it's 
you know everyone in the scene and not mm-hmm. because uh, not because it's a small scene but because everyone shows up everybody think, just shows up exactly. and everybody yeah. knows everyone that's what you, yeah. that's what you're saying basically like, yeah. Yeah. if you've never like, been to a gig please attend one because the energy is unreal it's nothing it's, 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 yeah. nothing much like you've ever like, attended yeah, ever, and ever. people always assume because people are rock they're, they're like crazy and they're like uh, they steal things from other people they're oh, the man, coolest never. people yeah. like they are the so nice like, people. I'm not yeah. crazy like, yeah. you know like like a hundred percent of my friend list is you know just people yeah yeah I can tell you guys right here on TV now Bianca if you've never been to a rock gig you've never been to a gig at you, you have, have never you need to pull up like pull seriously up. you need to pull up to it's one of their and once you start going you'll never miss like <laughs> for real you're it's always gonna turn like up else, yeah. yeah and now you guys have a new song mm-hmm. black um African black African <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what that's it's that's called. it yeah <laughs> Uh, well, it's Black AF, but we're just going to say African, you know, because it's uh, 5 p.m. So, Black yes. AF. Black AF. Yes. Man, this idea. song. This song, like, we've waited for it for a long time. Now that it's here, it's, you know, breaking boundaries. First you got featured on Metal Hammer. Shout out to you. Shout, Shout out to the biggest you. magazine. To you know, you're yeah, featured yeah, on yeah. Top 10 uh, yeah. Metal Songs mm-hmm. of the Week. We ain't even and that's the thing. We're not even I know, you're not even a metal band. 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 And, right? How how do you guys feel knowing that you people are actually watching what you're doing? I mean, pretty excited. I mean, it's it's. I think it's a testimony to like what well, the effort we've been putting in, the groundwork we've been doing, like over the last couple of years, last mm-hmm. couple of months as well. I mean, going in with this particular single, we knew it was a bit different, maybe mm-hmm. contentious for some people and some yeah. audiences, which is you know, mm-hmm. some of the feedback we get here now and then. But it's we had to speak our truth, say what we had to say, and. Yeah. That's it. At the end of the day, we will always speak our truth regardless of yeah. what comes in after that or what the consequences, quote unquote, are. We will always just say what we stand for, where we yeah. are at, and yeah. Um, yeah. Speak we'll always bring that energy. Of course. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And now that you've been featured as a metal band, is that the direction you're looking into, getting into? Maybe it's another single or the, something? The or your same direction band? is like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, I mean, unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'd say the thing with us, and for the reason we call our music Afropunk, is because I mean it's like creating a space for ourselves and what we do. Because I mean, punk metal these are largely like white male-dominated genres. So if we are not going to be seen and recognized mm-hmm. within these spaces, mm-hmm. the only thing that makes sense is to make a safe space for ourselves and other musicians who are like us, who share the same values, ethos, kind of music, and want to do the same thing we're doing. So. That's the direction we're going in. And with our music, it's always all these different influences and all these different things. Yeah. It's I think what that's is, uh, yeah. also what a lot uh, black is, uh, black AF black. Is, uh, <laughs> uh, is, is a lot about is that, you know, people of color are not just a monolith. They're not just what in one box. You know what I mean? You can, you can be a person of color and do whatever you want in life, mm-hmm. you know, and express yourself in whatever way. So we, we uh, put in so many elements of mm-hmm. many different genres and everything and create... Whatever Crystal Axis is. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think this is the first time. Like, I mean, we had Shang in the song. We had, we had Shang, yeah. yeah. We had right. yeah. So this and, and you are also featured in uh, Tunes of Protest. Yeah, uh, so Tunes of Protest. Yeah. yeah. So this is it's, it, this is an amazing platform where they share like every month and every year like different yeah. songs talking about you know societal issues or issues mm-hmm. affecting people in different countries. So it was amazing to be featured on. A publication like that, especially once you're right? like following that for yeah. years, like oh, you guys sense. have been following that for years. I, mean, I, I didn't know that. For years, so yeah. that that like seeing them mm-hmm. have uh, Black Africa on there. <laughs> Amazing. I like Amazing. how he's running with it. Yeah, ah, yeah, nice. Black Africa, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no. We all know what it means. We all know. <laughs> right. <Really? laughs> all right. So um, you spoke about uh, Coco Butter being Black African. Absolutely. And then, you know, fried chicken. <laughs> of course, there's watermelon. watermelon. But again, you know. what I love about that song is because, yeah, once you said, we covered a lot of elements. Yeah. And there's a bit of comedy and there's a bit of really serious stuff. Because <laughs> after we say cocoa butter and, you know, fried chicken, we talk about police brutality and corrupt leaders. I know. Black yeah. African. Black African. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and, but there's something you mentioned, like, after cocoa butter and <laughs> watermelon and all that, you're like, uh, wash history. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. white African 
So tell us about that. Like maybe you can expound on that. Like for the people who didn't get it. Like mm -hmm. uh, you think some of our African history has been edited? <clears throat> Um, oh. I think um, mm -hmm. somebody personally like me who's a bit of a history buff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Growing up, a lot of the stories and a lot of the history you read, um, there's a very common saying, history is written by the victors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there's a lot that growing up, I used to be insecure about myself because right. I was like, okay, why do I feel the way that I feel, but I look the way that I look? Mm -hmm. You know, but if you look back into your history, there's a lot of things that are, you know, unfortunately, people of color in history have been degraded a lot. Yeah. You know, they've never been seen as rulers, as, as, as you know, conquerors, as conquest people, you know. Yeah. But if you really read into other history, you know, not just what's in the textbooks, you know, because like, okay, we, we're, a very, we're a British colonized uh, nation. Mm -hmm. So our history is very British-centric, mm -hmm. Anglo-centric, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But if you read other sources, you'll realize you can take so much pride mm -hmm. in your own history because you were, you did have amazing inventions. You yeah. did have amazing uh, uh, clans and conquests and everything. Yeah. You know, so that's when we said washed history. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's whitewashed, basically. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the, all the contribution of people of color is taken out. Yeah. You know, and it's only... They leave the bad stuff, they take out yeah. the good stuff. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I exactly. think, yeah. So with the song, with the approach for us, it has always been telling African stories from an African perspective. Because, yeah. I mean, growing up, I mean, you knew about Hitler, Stalin, all these mm -hmm. guys, of but mm -hmm. yeah. you didn't know about what was going on in Congo. You didn't know that the British had concentration camps in yeah. Kenya, that kind we of thing. We did not know that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But now so. that you watch documentaries and stuff like that, that's when you learn. It like, comes wow. out, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. True. All right, so Dan, you haven't spoken to us a lot. So you, in a song, as we are waiting up because of time, uh, you speak about uh, racism as well. As a band, is that something you, you have actually dealt with? Have you experienced it firsthand? Or you just wrote it based on other people's experiences? Um, personally, I have experienced it. Mm -hmm. Being, um, as a drummer, I have traveled a lot in different countries. I've played in different uh, you know, music scenes. Mm -hmm. So moving from one city to another city, from Kenya to another different country, you kind of get a lot of that, mm -hmm. not when you get there, not only when you get there, but as when you wait there. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's kind of, it's, 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 a, it's a major thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, which kind of ties into, you know, we were... So I get that, and it's so unfortunate, like uh, that happening, and especially when you experience racism in your own country. In your own country, exactly. It's, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like, uh, uh, like one of the clubs, like you go there, like you have to take your, sorry to say it, but your white friend. If you go, with your white friend. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. You go there, you money because as black people don't tip for some reason. Right. <laughs> <Apparently, laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, it's good that someone is actually talking about these things. Yeah. And you were jamming uh, with Pete. He sent me yeah, a video. Yeah. You <laughs> guys <laughs> were practicing. Is there something good? Shout out to Pete, the Shout legend, the man, the myth. You know? Oh, it's not a myth. Definitely. He's right there. But yeah. <laughs> is there something okay? Are you guys working on something? On oh. This stuff in the works. We, uh, yeah. We're going to come up with some stuff. For sure, for sure. This is the beginning cook of something good. Cook it up, cook it up. All right. You know? I'm excited about that. But for now, I think we play Black... AF, Black African as we have been calling it, yeah. and then we are coming back with, of course, don't go anywhere.